changes round here. Juliette Mann. I'm a business journalist and I'm on a mission to investigate why productivity in the UK is so poor. This film looks at how engaging and empowering your workforce can make all the difference. How important is it to engage every single member of the workforce? It's absolutely fundamental to improving productivity that everyone is engaged. Every single person is thinking about how to make process improvements every hour of every day. That's the only way to improve productivity. There are no other ways that are enduringly successful. So if it's very much about people and engaging all the members of staff, where do you start to make sure those at the bottom have as much of a voice as those in the middle and those at the top? So it's vital to understand that problems need to be solved at the lowest level in the organisation because solving problems is what improves productivity. People form a huge piece of the productivity puzzle. That's why I've come to the CIPD, the Chartered Institute of Professional Development. We've done a lot of research over the last 15 years or so, looking at the factors which encourage people to go the extra mile in the workplace. And those things, sorts of things are um, clarity over the strategic direction and purpose of an organisation. So everybody in the organisation buys into that purpose. A sense of integrity so that values are, are not just a sort of a passing reference in the annual report, that everybody lives those values. Um, voice, so employees feel that they, they have a voice, their views are respected and that managers listen and will um, take account of their views. And finally the issue of good quality line management, so line managers who can win hearts and minds because ultimately that's at the heart of the employment relationship. Ben Wilmot talked about the importance of investing in people, empowering the workforce to be your eyes and ears to increase productivity. The malaise in British industry is that um, People who do the work are not accorded the respect and the dignity that they deserve. It's the workers who generate value and it's the workers who can improve processes. And managers' role is to facilitate the people who do the work. Is it a question of talking to your people at all the different levels in the organisation, of talking to your competitors, of talking to your customers? Well, I, th I think talking to your competitors can often be a bit difficult, um, but talking to your own people clearly is key. A, a lot of times, you know, the, the people down on the, on the shop floor, as it were, or, or out in, the, in the, the great part of the office, they will have immense numbers of ideas and they will see inefficiencies which you might think, well, this is justifiable, and they think, no, 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 we could do this much better if only you'd listen. I've come to a car parts manufacturing plant. What did the production line team think of productivity. How important is productivity to your day-to-day -day role? Say if there was a problem with a machine and you don't fix that problem as quick as you can, it can affect the whole productivity of the entire workshop. So productivity is a constant focus of what you're doing day in, day out? Most well, definitely. It's what uh, evolves around uh, the sports services, really. Our job is to keep productivity as high as possible at all times. Here's a simple example of productivity. Kids at a primary school in Brighton were asked to pick coloured bands to signal which meal they wanted. Red for meat, green for veggie. A training teacher realised that if the kids picked their bands first thing in the morning, then the canteen staff knew exactly how many meals to produce, saving time and money and reducing waste. Inspired thinking from the front line. <laughs> Small changes add up to big differences and often it's your frontline staff who are best placed to understand and see room for improving processes. Andy, you've worked here for 30 years in different departments in, in different sites. What's really changed? Back in the day, we would be basically told what to do. This is how we do it. And there was one way of doing it and that was it. That was the way that it was done. But people have ideas of how things can work easier. And over the years, we've tapped into our workforce. We've used their ideas. Um, we've set up meetings to discuss how we do things. And we come about being able to change the situation that we're in. We're actually using the knowledge of the people who do the job um, to be able to come up with the solutions to go for going forward. You were a worker bee when you were a radiographer. Uh, you're now top management. How important is it to get people together at all the different levels of the, the great big hierarchy that makes up the NHS to be more productive? It's the only way we'll 
improve services for patients. Everybody has a, an impact on patient care. If you work in a silo, you can only influence the area that you specifically work in. If you work collaboratively, as we do in the NHS in many organisations, it's about everybody coming to the table with their ideas to implement improvements around productivity and patient care. Productivity can be boosted when employees feel engaged in their work and feel they can genuinely make a difference. Allowing staff to have a voice to contribute to improving processes is crucial. Small, simple changes changes can make a big difference. Let ideas come from everywhere in your organisation. So, here's my big idea. We need to stop talking about being more productive and start doing it. Find out more useful information about boosting your productivity in our next film. It's time to join the productivity revolution.